Good morning, my husband. I already woke up today at 5.15 today and went off to the gym with his friends. This just feels like a morning routine before I got married. But now I need to wake up. Somehow ended up choosing all white today. But in today's little wake up early vlog, I'll be taking you through a very productive day starting right now at 6.30 in the morning. Good morning. morning. Just found you in the elevator. Okay, all done getting ready. My face looks very pale. <laughs> are ready for the day i started going to a new workout that is about 30 minutes away from me so my morning routines are a little thrown off I'm going to rotate my tires first time that pang tan will be getting his tires rotated and then i am tutoring one of my old students so i am still teaching in some way speaking of tutoring this portion of today's video is sponsored by wisent and hopefully this helps you too so wisent is the nation's largest community of private tutors and tutoring is so important especially when you want to pursue excellence and really go above and beyond because for teachers in schools they can really only cater so much to all of the students that they have having a tutor really helped me with my individual learning needs so Wizen has over 65,000 different tutors so you actually pay after your lesson and only for the time that you needed them you really have control there in terms of what you really need and then the tutoring is done virtually so you don't really have to go anywhere you can be in your room or in the space that you learn best to be able to talk to your private educator I know many of you have started school or going back to school and so using Wizen can be a really helpful tool in order to help your education. Once you find a tutor that fits your needs, you can then select a schedule that's going to fit into your life. You can also select how long you want it to be but of course if you end earlier that's okay too. So go ahead and click my link below and you'll get $25 off your first lesson. And check out Wizen which is also something that I am thinking about in terms of my identity post teacher life. I still love my students and working with children. That literally takes up my whole mind, body, and soul. I made this broth yesterday, which is really just Tashi, and then some tofu that I cut up and put in water. Okay, we're just gonna throw in our tofu. Seaweed. My miso soup is starting to boil, so what we want to do is want to turn off the heat, and then we're gonna add our miso paste when it's not boiling, so all the healthy goodness in the miso does not die out. I'm going to take my organic miso, and then we're just gonna take a tablespoon and slowly dissolve it into our soup. All right, today's smoothie of the day is using almond milk. A lot of almond milks add a lot of gums and thickeners and things like that, but this one is a really, really good brand. Very clean ingredients. Gonna throw in a banana. And last but not least, a big chunk of frozen spinach. That was a lot. So as the title suggests, I actually interviewed for a position at Google. Google owns YouTube. Google bought it back in... Okay, Google, when did Google buy YouTube? 2006, on the website CNBC. So in 2006, Google bought YouTube. This was actually a YouTube position that a recruiter reached out to me for. I was not looking for it and I didn't apply for it. They just asked me if I'd like to interview and they ended up taking me through four rounds of interviews. It was a great experience and every person that I met was so kind and just so smart. <laughs> and I really thought, wow, this is going to be fantastic for my family, my future family. I can take care of them so well with this job. They ended up proceeding with someone else.
myself but very kindly they mentioned you know they really enjoyed talking to me and that they wanted to refer me to a different position so i did two rounds of interviews for this other position and then they ended up not proceeding <laughs> so during that time you know of course rejection can be sad and it can feel like oh am i not good enough but at the end of the day i actually just saw it as knowing more of my worth and my value I never would have even dreamed or thought that I would ever get a chance to work there. It really opened my eyes to see that perhaps I am capable of more. But I don't know what that is. And I'm just going to be really honest. YouTube is a little bit scary sometimes. Like even the sponsorship that I got today, I had not had a sponsorship in quite some time. And ultimately I'm thinking about what does God want me to do with this time that I've been given. So I've been spending a lot of my time hanging out with a lot of church people, getting to know them because I just switched to a new church eight months ago. And I've been really intentional with, you know, going to small groups and Bible study and really using this time to refocus all of my energy onto the Lord. So if you're in a season of transition or change or you feel like you need to walk away from a situation that is just not good for your mental health, it's going to be scary. There will be moments where you feel like, was that the right decision? But it is. <laughs> That Google position, when I saw the job description, I thought this job is so perfect. I didn't even know a job like this existed. But after they decided to move along with someone else, I already knew in my head, they're probably not going to choose me, but it's okay. So those are my subscribers. If you could please pray for me as to what is next, that would be amazing. But what I do know is that I will continually be posting videos because I enjoy it. <laughs> I am going to be late to my appointment. Back from my laser appointment that really stung, but I'm hungry before my bangtan needs to get his tires rotated. So we're gonna make a really quick dish. It should take five minutes or less. It's currently 11.53. Here we go. Gonna take five. Then we're gonna add a little more warm water. Okay, and microwave for one minute. little noodles I think I would have microwaved them a little less but it's all dependent on your microwave and how warm the water was when you put it in I am going to Chicago and New York next month so I'm going to be booking my accommodations and figuring out what to do. Going back out now to LA because I'm having dinner with some of my middle school friends. They're actually one year older than me. So I kind of see them as my Pangtan sisters because they love BTS too. But we like to have monthly dinners, eating Korean food as a way of bonding together. It is 6.30 and my husband is still not home. Since he commutes to work, he is going to grab some dinner with some friends where his work is and then he'll come home. So I have not seen my husband for 12 hours and that is the reality of marriage sometimes. You don't spend every single hour together. But we are our own people. Absolute favorite perfume is the Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey. I always come back to this. I get the travel size because it lasts me forever anyway. It is now 10.02 p.m. My husband is still not home because he was just gonna come home when I came home. That is such a great time just hanging out with some positive women. It's really important for us to have good friends who empower each other, who aren't competing with each other, but just wanna make each other better, who, who make you feel good, who make you feel loved and encouraged. <laughs> Hello, wife. Whoa! That would've been a good time. You dropped your lunch. Yeah. Ta -da! It's 
Oh, no, no. Don't worry, they had 20% off the whole entire store. So it was only $20. This is worth like $8 at the Line Friend store. Wow. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.